Hi, thanks for joining me. So, um, I'm going to be mean to you guys today because I want to talk about uh, just some games that I've only ever seen once in the wild. Now, um, you know, this is going to be completely subjective just based on my own personal experiences. Uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm fortunate uh, to be able to do because of um, you know, this new business that I've started and just sort of the way I'm living my life right now and for the past year or so, year and a half, is, um, you know, I have an opportunity to go out and, uh, you know, check out game stores and sort of see what sort of interesting games they have. And, um, you know, because of that I've run into a lot of uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, what I ended up doing um, to make it a little more scientific is I actually went to a eBay and uh, I just did searches to see how many uh, listings um, for each of these games are available right now on eBay. And uh, then I just ranked these by like how many listings are available on eBay. So once once you actually get to like the, the top like five or so, um, I would say that those ones are, you know, like I said, ones I've only seen once in the wild and um, have really very few uh, listings available. They're you, know, you can probably say that they're hard to find at this point. Um, so anyway, let's get started. Um, again, these are basically like modern systems, just mostly the Xbox 360, uh, Wii, I think I have a one Vita game and one PS3 game. Um, so the first game here is a Vita game, uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Splits. Now, maybe you guys have seen this uh, around before, but uh, I ran into it when I was just looking for, you know, like cheap Vita games, and GameStop had this used for like something really reasonable, like five bucks, I think. Um, so I just grabbed it, and I have checked it out. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. It's a monkey ball game. Uh, you can actually, I think, control it with the, um, you know, sort of like tilting the Vita, which is pretty cool, um, and it's pretty fun. I've never seen it uh, since then because I keep keeping an eye out for it because I figured you know I might uh, I might pick up another copy of it, um, it you know n not seeing a lot of these around now uh, like I did say you know I, I checked these on eBay there are uh, more listings of this particular game than any of these other games so again not saying it's rare or anything like that but uh, I certainly haven't seen a copy of it um, here is something that I just picked up uh, yesterday literally I think. Um, I was going out playing some Pokemon Go and uh, stopped by some stores, and I found uh, the King of Fighters um, 12. Now, um, you know, this is one of those ones, uh, SNK Playmore, this was published by Ignition. Um, I believe that there is a version of this available on the PlayStation 3. Um, I've never seen it, um, but I ran into this and went ahead and picked it up. Um, you know, it's something I've never seen uh, before out there for the Xbox 360. Again, um, you know, you, you guys might see this around. Uh, you know, and let me know if you guys have seen uh, these games before, or if they're more common in your area. Um, another one that I've uh, talked about on the channel when I picked it up, that is uh, Samurai Showdown Sen. Oh, and I actually I forgot to mention too, they have these stickers on them. You'll see like use. <laughs> um, I, I put this company use sticker on all of my games now for the most part just so I can differentiate like games that I'm selling versus games that like are in my collection you know for now and that are like they're they're intended not to be sold currently that's why they're called company use so just so you don't have to ask what that is um, I've heard that this is not a good game um, you know that it just it's not a good Samurai Showdown game it's not a good uh, 3D fighter um, but, you know, I've always been interested, at least, uh, casually in the Samurai Showdown series, um, and especially, like, the 3D games. There was a 3D fighter, uh, for Samurai Showdown on the, um, PlayStation, I believe, which also wasn't very good, but, um, anyway, I really w I wanted to get this, and when I saw it, I was like, sweet, um, not something I've ever seen since, uh, only saw it that one time. Now, um, you will start to see <laughs> some themes uh, in these games that I've only seen once. Uh, you know, already we've had uh, SNK Playmore, um, Xseed, and certain other publishers here that you'll uh, you'll see crop up uh, repeatedly. Now, uh, PlayStation Three. I actually couldn't think of a lot of games that like I just um, I've really had a hard time finding. Really, just never see. Uh, and, you know, I've only seen once uh, when I've been out, um, but this is one of them, Golden Axe Beast Rider. Um, you know, when this first came out, I was kind of interested in it, because I was like, oh, they're doing another Golden Axe, and then the reviews were, like, pretty blah. Um, 
So, you know, I kind of had my eye out for it since then, and I never see this. Uh, you can see this copy of it that I got is actually, like, torn just a little bit on the spine. Um, I mean, I don't normally buy <laughs> games in that condition. Um, I just literally never see this for the, the PlayStation 3. I've, you know, I've uh, gotten it on the Xbox 360 also, and I think I've seen it a couple few times on the 360, but I, this is pretty much the only, uh, you know, copy of this that I've ever been able to find for the PlayStation 3. Um, and another King of Fighters game here. This is uh, King of Fighters 13. Um, this one's published by Atlas, uh, as opposed to, uh, Ignition, which was the other one. Um, and this I got a little while ago. It wasn't that long ago, but like I said, you know, within the past year and a half or so, this was probably like a year ago, maybe. Uh, I may have talked about it, but, like, I don't necessarily talk about these, um, as pickups, really, if I'm kind of... It depends on why I'm getting them, but anyway. Um... Yeah, another one that I, I never see. Uh, this is available on the PlayStation 3. Uh, it's possible I actually have seen the, the PlayStation 3 version of this before and not picked it up. So this may be one that I've, you know, technically seen more than once. Um, but I've never seen this, the Xbox 360 version of this, other than this time that I, that I snagged it. Um, next up, another Atlas published game here, Baroque. Um, this is a game that is also available on the PlayStation 2. Um, but, I mean, GameStop had the, this was literally, I think, like a dollar game, or it might have been like, you know, one of those ones they have for like two fifty or 3 bucks or something, it was really, really cheap. Um, but I've, I've really never seen it since then. And this was a while ago, this was longer than a year and a half ago that I ran across this, and it's just, um, not something that, uh, that you run across, uh, very much at all these days. Um, next up is, uh, Import tuner challenge now um this is a game uh, that i i just ran across within the past week uh, i just swung into a GameStop. i saw this and i was like oh wow because this looks to me uh and i didn't confirm this i probably should have um but this is developed by genki um so i believe um that this is you know if not officially in the series of um the tokyo uh, Extreme Racer series, then it's at least, um, you know, developed by, uh, by the same people, um, and here, published here by, by Ubisoft, um, which is pretty cool, so, um, so I definitely wanted to grab that one. I've uh, never seen it before, uh, previously or, you know, since in the past week, I guess. <laughs> um, so another Xseed uh, published game here, Victorious Boxers Revolution. Now, I have mentioned this one before, um, it's, I always get it confused because there's two, like, really famous boxing, like, manga and anime, um, Ashita no Jo and, um, gosh, what's the other one? Uh, Hajime no Ippo. And I just, I forget which one this is. I think maybe I said this was Ashita no Jo and it's actually Hajime no Ippo. Ippo? I think it's Ippo. Um, but anyway, uh, it's based on, like, on manga and, or, and or anime. Um... And, you know, I, I picked up one copy of this. I don't think that I've ever seen another one. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, if you remember me talking about this previously, and I said I got more than one copy, but I've never seen this before, and um, it's not particularly common. <laughs> Next up, what do you know? Another King of Fighters game. Um, this is the King of Fighters collection, the Orochi Saga, um, on the... We now, um, as far as I know, this particular collection was released on the uh, PSP as well. Uh, I can't say that I've ever seen that version, and um, you know, as, since I picked this up, I've never seen this uh, this game out in the wild. Uh, I I was gonna say I don't know exactly what's on here, but it does look like it says we've got King of Fighters '98. Uh, well, I guess I'll try to go in order here. So, King of Fighters 94, 95, 96, 97, and 98. So, um, pretty much all those old, like, 90s uh, King of Fighters games here on one uh, collection. Very, very cool. Um, and definitely something that, uh, you know, I don't see uh, out in the wild. Um, speaking of things that I don't see out in the wild, um, not only uh, have I, um, you know, basically not seen this more than once, I've never seen this once. <laughs> what, uh, what I ended up doing is, uh, just in order to get this game, um, is to, I, like, I ordered the box art and the manual, and I didn't even get them in 
perfect condition you can well maybe see here I've got this little sticker I still need to photograph this but there's a cut in the um, uh, the box art here almost like you know I don't know someone was cutting a box open and just sort of like slashed the the box art so I mean um, it's it's like not perfect box art and manual that I had to like buy separately and then um, I actually ordered the game from GameStop um, and you know it's a crapshoot so you never really know what you're gonna get and I ended up getting like the disc only which you know I just put in here and now I have a complete copy of this but I've literally never seen this in the wild um, the cool thing about this game and I haven't checked it out yet uh, and unfortunately the sticker is over top of it but it looks like uh, probably well hey, it's published by Eidos they have this um, it's called Secret Stash Games um, which they say is uh, is an Eidos uh, label so they you know have this particular label that they put this under which is weird um, but if you can see under the sticker it is developed by Spike uh, Spike Chunsoft um, so you know being like a, a survival horror game published you know uh, developed by Spike Chunsoft um, I think this seems like a really really cool game and man I I've been trying to get this forever and it's just it's not uh, it's not out there at all um, so I mean I will I think I will go ahead and say like if you guys find a copy of this just get it uh, I, I mean uh, maybe I'll do a review on it or something see if it's ac actually worth playing but um, something that I've never seen um, in my travels maybe you guys have um, another one that uh, I ran across um, this was something like I happened to be traveling um, kind of out of my local area and this was at a GameStop um, I ran into this speed zone and you know it's like uh, I don't know published by Den Dento or Denate or something um, you know I, th I believe that this is uh, Western developed uh, I really don't know a whole lot about this, but you know, one nice thing is it uses the um, uh, the Razer controller, which I really like on Wii games. Uh, you can also use the little, you know, uh, uh, whatever that is, steering wheel peripheral that you snap your Wii mode into. Um, but you know, I just sort of picked this up on a whim because I'd never seen it before, and I have never seen it since. And considering the um, you know position that this is in my <laughs> uh, succession of uh, games I've I've only seen once uh, you can tell that there's not a lot of these available on um, eBay either so it seems like a game that is pretty uh, difficult to come by actually um, so uh, yeah, definitely uh, interested to have that uh, next up this is something that I was uh, looking for for a long time and I should have confirmed this before I started making this video so maybe I'll put up a an annotation or something um, considering this is called Turbo Q Speedway my assumption and also it's by Tomy is that this is a uh, Turbo Q uh, game uh, Penny Racers Party um, this is something I had my eyes out for um, for a long long time and I finally ran across a copy of it I don't remember exactly when it wasn't super recently but it wasn't that long ago and um, I definitely wanted us to, to, you know, snatch that up. I don't think that this, you know, is particularly expensive. Again, I'm not saying any of these are, are pricey or rare or expensive or sought after or anything like that. But, man, it's tough to come by a copy of this. Um, so I was really glad to get that. Um, something else that I uh, ran across and kind of uh, just got on a whim is uh, Common Rider Dragon Knight. Now, um, I'm not a particularly big Common Rider fan. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen Common Rider. Um, I have a feeling I might like it. You know, I do. I I've seen some like cheesy live-action Japanese shows before that are like they're genuinely fun. I know, you know some people that like this show, um, but it's published by D3, so that kind of caught my attention. And you know, it wasn't very expensive. I was like, well, you know, whatever. I'll just grab it again. And you know, it uses the regular controller, which again I, I like to uh, get games for the Wii that do that. And um, you know, I don't know much about it. Fight is all 13 common riders. Um, there's, it sounds like there's like a, a versus fighting mode and maybe like a beat em up mode. Um, but again, this is a game that I have not seen um, since. And, uh, you know, again, it uh, just doesn't seem like it's particularly available. Um, another one here, I could be wrong. I almost feel like I saw uh, this on um, Crack, Crack Lotus's pickups, but, um, you know, my memory is, uh, is not particularly reliable um, but a mini copter adventure flight now this is actually my second to last um, game that I'm gonna be showcasing here which means that there are not very many uh, copies of this available on you know 
uh, on eBay right now. Uh, this is an Axis published game. Uh, again, I probably should have looked this up. I feel like this is sort of... Um, it's very similar in style to you know, games that are in the Simple series. I don't even really know if there was ever a Simple series for the for the Wii or anything like that. Anyway, it's it's one of those style of games, though, without a doubt. Um, and you know, I don't even know for sure if it's a Japanese or or a, um, a published game or not, but um, or developed game. But it certainly feels like it. Uh, I believe I did try this out a little bit, and it is pretty fun. Um, but you know, again, it's, it's something I never see. Uh, it does work with the regular controller. Uh, it seems like a really cool game, and um, you know I was happy to to run across that in the wild. Um, and finally, we have uh, Data East Arcade Classics. Now I did mention this uh, once on my channel uh, before when I when I picked this up, and um, I remember like I again I just ran into this out in the wild. Uh, I don't know that it was like cheap cheap. Um, somehow I feel like I spent you know um, a few bucks on this, but it wasn't expensive. You know, got it at GameStop, and um, even back then, people were like, oh, wow, like, um, that that's pretty awesome that you just ran across that because it's hard to find. Uh, it seems like it really is hard to find. <laughs> um, so I, I really lucked out on this, um, being able to find this out in the wild. Definitely have never seen this again. Uh, this is the only copy of this I've ever seen. I, I just happened to, you know, snag it when I saw it because I was uh, really into getting these arcade uh, collections, which I, I really like and I like to play. And this is, uh, as far as I know, completely... Um, you know, unique uh, to the Wii, exclusive to the Wii, and um, yeah, published here by Majesco. Obviously, it's a Data East collection, and um, this is uh, there's. I'll go ahead and say I think there's like one or two listings of this on eBay right now, and I'm gonna also gonna say considering the price that they're being asked for, I don't know if that's necessarily what it sells for, but you know, out of all of these games, if I was gonna say one, you know, one Wii game is kind of rare. Uh, I'm going to say probably this one, um, it's, uh, again, like I said, something I've never ever seen before, um, so I was lucky to find this, and um, you guys might want to keep your eyes out for it, if uh, if you happen to find it, I would say uh, grab it, <laughs> grab it like it's, uh, you want to drop it like it's hot, you wanna, uh, anyway, um, get it get it while you can, so uh, anyway, um, that uh, was my collection of games that, uh, you know, again, just subjectively, um, I haven't I haven't seen much out in the wild before, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, definitely let me know you know if you guys uh, have other uh, games like this that you know you maybe you've only seen once uh, out in the wild. Um, you know, let me know your stories or if you you know if you've seen these games before, if you've managed to pick them up, or if you know you regret having <laughs> left them behind or any of that kind of stuff. And um, I hope that you'll join me again for more video game and anime related videos. Thanks so much for watching.